All right, so the Nuke map is an entirely free app that was made by Alex over at the Prepper Hub. I'll post his website in the description. And basically this allows you to simulate the impacts of nuclear strikes anywhere on the planet. You can see the consequences of those strikes in terms of human casualties and potential fatalities. Also, it will show you you know, what the radioactive fallout might look like, what the blast radius might look like, of a variety of different yields of weapons, how they're detonated. So for anybody who might be concerned with the possibility of some sort of nuclear detonation, this will help you determine perhaps where an ideal bug out location might be for you. So let's check it out. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So I was sent an invitation by the Prepper Hub to do some sort of collaboration. And he's actually really good at video editing. And he's actually helping me work on an upcoming installment of the After the Collapse series entitled Martial Law or Excessive Rule of Law. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna title it yet. All right, so we're checking out the Nuke map and basically what this allows you to do, it uses the Google Map Engine in conjunction with this extension that Alex Wallerstein, the guy who made the Prepper Hub, created. And it basically takes a bunch of things into account and it predicts how many fatalities there would be in a certain region, depending on the type of bomb which was detonated, uh, the height of the burst, whether it was an air burst or a surface blast, and it will tell you the amount of casualties and the radioactive fallout and all the rest. So right now I'm in New York City and you can just go on any city in the world and you can try this because Google Maps has estimates of population. So it takes all that into account. So if we were to detonate one smack dab in Manhattan there, New York City, but let's just detonate the Hiroshima bomb and see what happens, see how many fatalities we get. So smack dab in the heart of Manhattan, we're getting about 512,000 casualties, 263,000 of those are fatalities. Pretty phenomenal, just from the little boy. And the little boy, if you didn't know, was a very small uh, nuclear weapon. Now that was an air burst. So the fireball blast is smaller. So the fireball radius, as you can read right here down in the corner, is only 0.1 kilometers compared to the thermal radiation radius, which is much bigger, which is 11.4 kilometers. Let's do a surface detonation. Okay, so now you see here, we have a much smaller fireball radius, 0.17 kilometers squared. We have significantly less fatalities. Now this is why air bursts are far more effective in terms of total destruction and chaos, right? Uh, and of course the uh, thermal radiation radius is uh, smaller as well at 8.92 kilometers. So let's just go back again. We'll do the air burst just one more time so you can see the difference. So air burst, less fireball, but far more people are gonna be dying from uh, thermal radiation and uh, all the rest. All right, so if we wanna simulate the radioactive fallout, we'll put it to surface. So if the burst height is too high, it's not going to produce significant local fallout. So let's do a surface detonation and see what happens with that. Let's see what happens with the fallout there. Okay, now I'm not sure if it's using jet streams with this or what. But, uh, okay, so we got like this stream of radioactive fallout. I'm not sure how it calculates which direction that's going to go. So I, I'm assuming this could be in any direction, depending on which it's just pointing in that particular direction right now. And it tells you the amount of rads per hour, all that stuff. This is a pretty darn cool app, guys. I really would encourage you to check this out. Again, you know, accuracy is everything. So they may drop a czar bomb on, on New York, but which part of New York is gonna have a significant impact on you know how effective that bomb is so speaking of which let's do the czar bomb biggest bomb ever designed is a hundred megaton well so we know anyways is the czar bomber and that's a hundred megatons unreal that's like just i don't know thousands of times bigger than the uh, hiroshima bomb 
So let's detonate it. We got, we're going to do a surface blast just so we can simulate some uh, radioactive fallout. Oh my God, that's just unreal. Look at those fatalities go up. So if this bomb was detonated in New York City, 8 million people would be instantly dead. Not counting the 4 million injuries, which would probably be horrific injuries, I imagine. And I don't think this takes into account deaths via radioactive fallout, which as you can see, would just be absolutely devastating. You know, it's going to go all the way up into Canada, to Montreal. So I'm not sure which ways the jet streams come through New York City typically, but that's obviously going to affect this. So if you know the typical way the wind blows through your town, then you can kind of estimate, you know, where a good place to be or where a good place to retreat to might be. You know, this app, the more I think about it, could potentially save lives if there ever was some large scale nuclear exchange, which I don't personally think there ever would be. I don't think the powers would be are that stupid to... Uh, destroy their entire planet and believe me they do think it's their planet so why would they want to destroy it they're not that dumb but good old saber rattling keeps everybody in line so i'm gonna let you go and play around with this app i could play around with it all night and show you but check it out it's called nuke map so go check out the prepper hubs website he's got a lot of cool videos on there he uh, thrown a few videos of mine on there which is kind of cool and uh, he also has a YouTube channel. He goes into a lot of the basics and he does it very, very well. He, he's got really high production, high quality content. And uh, so go check out his channel. Go subscribe to the Prepper Hub and uh, I'm sure you won't be disappointed. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Canadian Prepper out. Check out the Canadian Preppers Network blog, an excellent resource for survivalists and preppers.